welcome to Vietnam. Ciao. Xin chào Vietnam. Morning, another day here in Huyan, and I'm having breakfast here at Huyan Central Hotel. Look at the selections of breakfast around me. You know, when you book your trip and accommodations here in Huyan, make sure you book it through to Huyan Central Hotel, and also look the selections of food here. Let me show you what it looks like here. You never get hungry. As the sun rose over Hoi An, Vietnam, I eagerly embarked on my journey to Misan Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with lush greenery and misty mountains. My excitement grew with passing minutes as I made my way towards the sacred place, known as the holiest site in the region. The journey from Hoi An took about an hour and a half passing through picturesque villages and rice fields. As I approached the entrance of Misan Temple, I was greeted by the sense of tranquility that seems to envelop the entire area. As I walked through the ancient ruins of Misan Temple, I was in awe of the intricate architecture and the rich history that unfolded before my eyes. Welcome to Misan. Well, the name itself is quite really confusing because when you type it in, it is M Y S O N, which is also read as my son. But on the Vietnamese culture with a Vietnamese name, my son is translated into Mi San. The temple complex was built by the Champa civilization. Between the centuries and the remnants of the brick structures stood as a testament to their ingenuity and craftsmanship. I was accompanied by a knowledgeable local guide who shared fascinating stories about the significance of Misan Temple. He explained that the site was dedicated to the worship of the Hindu god Shiva and it served as a place for religious ceremonies, royal rituals, and cultural performances. As I explored the temple complex, the walls, the intricate carvings, and the remnants of one structure told the story of a civilization long gone yet still preserved in the hearts of the people. Misan site is quite a bit um, secluded so when you enter here you get a chance to get a buggy and then walk all these empty roads here they've created for the, for people so they can walk freely here but before that time it was nothing here so they reconstructed this to be able for everyone to also experience Misan on a different way. We are now heading to the performance area where there are dancers and performers telling about the story about Misan during the 7th century and to the 14th century. It's quite a bit of a long walk. But you know, this was the village before here in Vietnam during the seventh century. But of course, without the without the cement of pavement and the roads, these are just the normal way of 
you know, coming here. You are surrounded by mountains in the middle of central Vietnam. And, you know, I think the good thing about this one, they have preserved the beauty of this place. inside the temple. This was the old 7th century temple. Um, we will go inside and we will check what's inside. It's very dark. After spending hours exploring the temple complex, it was time for us to head back to Hui An. We met up with a group and had a delicious lunch together, sharing our experiences and impressions of the temple. We had the opportunity to learn how to make Vietnamese noodles from scratch. It was a hands-on experience that taught us the art of creating this traditional dish. After the drying, they normally they grill with charcoal, like barbecue, so become crispy. 
and uh, how to make the rice flour. So original, then use the stone grinder like that. <laughs> yeah. right, this one. We just made it today. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Let's try this one. Mm. And we're taking the soy sauce. Mm. Good. Mm. 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 Good. Ah, fresh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is one of the traditional village here in Vietnam. If you ever get a chance to Vietnam, make sure you visit one of these villages, you know, to understand somehow the culture and tradition, how they live in a day-to-day -day life. And basically, we're just invited to this family home who made rice paper cake or something. And then look at this one, this is just a spacious space. How beautiful is this place? And also you've got poultry here, you've got... Come on, thank you. Thank you. Thank bye bye. bye. <laughs> thank you for showing us yeah. how to make a rice paper cake. Yeah. <laughs> this is really so good. Thank you. And what a better way to end our visit to Misan Temple than by taking a boat back to Hoi An. Crossing the river in a peaceful tranquility of the water, it was a beautiful way to end the day and reflect on the significance of this sacred place. <laughs>